In today's video, we are going to create this Apple landing page with changing images and little hover effects like this. Let's get into it. So to start the project, just create a new folder on your desktop, open that up in VS Code and create a index.html and style.css file. And also I have these images. You can find the links in the description. Go and download those images. Let's create the HTML, say Apple, link that style sheet. And also we're going to use box icons. Go up to the website, click on usage, scroll down and copy this one and paste it right under the style sheet and we are good to go. Let's right click on the HTML and open that up with live server. So if you haven't installed live server yet, just go to the extensions and type live server and you're going to install this one. So let's start by creating the section and the header and inside we're going to put the logo. Let's give it a class of logo as well. I'm going to put the image logo and right under that we're going to create a unordered list with a list item that is going to have a couple of anchor tags. So let's say store, products, vision, entertainment, accessories. And right under those anchor tags, we're going to put two box icons. So let's open up box icons. And by the way, right now, website looks like this. So we're going to look for search. Copy this one, paste it here. And then we're gonna look for a shopping bag one. Copy this one and paste it right under. So let's first style this now bar and then we're gonna keep going with the HTML. Let's reset the margin and padding. Border box. Gonna use pop-ins. So list style none. Text decoration none. And let's style the section with 100% minimum height 100 VH so basically this section is going to be covered the whole page and justify content space between line item center I'm gonna make the background white and the header position absolute top zero left zero with 100%, gonna give it a bit of a high padding on the sides. Display flex, space, not space around, space between. Line item center to center the items horizontally. And the background color is going to be that, I'm gonna copy and paste this one. This black, gray ish color. And let's style the logo as well with 50 pixels let's see how's it looking now yeah everything's in the place let's keep styling display flex and the anchor tags are going to be inline block color white font weight just a bit bolder gonna give it a margin right to create space between them font size 16 gonna lower the opacity and you're gonna increase it when you hover over it so let's create that hover effect as well so we're gonna increase the opacity to 1 and let's see if it's working yeah it works but we cannot see the icons. Let's also style them too. So header UL icons are going to be color white, font size 24, margin right as well. And we're gonna lower the opacity just like we did with the anchor tags and the hover effect as well. Capacity 1. Yeah, that works as well. 
Now let's create the rest of the page. So right under the header, we're gonna create a content div and inside we're gonna create another one called text box and inside we're gonna put a h2 say iPhone 15 under that we're gonna say I basically copy and pasted those texts from the official website change that up a little bit to make it look cool gonna keep it pretty simple and we're gonna put a anchor tag at the bottom so learn more and we're gonna put the images under by creating a div called image box so let's put the black one here I'm also gonna give it a class of iPhone now let's see how is it looking and yeah it doesn't look well obviously and now we're gonna create the small clickable images at the bottom let's create a unordered list called thumb I'm gonna put some list items inside and those list items are going to be the pictures so we're gonna put black black titanium at the first and the second one is going to be that white ish color and the blue one and I was gonna say let's style it but let's finish this HTML and then we're gonna style the rest so we're gonna create another unordered list with the class of socials so we're gonna create like three list items we're gonna put box icons inside so let's get up to the box icons let's search for Facebook copy that and paste it at the top now let's search for Instagram copy this one and paste it here and also Twitter copy this one and paste it at the bottom now we are done with box icons so close it up and the website looks like this now and we are going to style the rest so let's select the contents I'm gonna say position relative with 100% display flex justify content space between and we're gonna align everything at the center and also the text box was that text box? yeah we're gonna say position relative max width 600 and margin left 20 em H2 is going to be color black, font size 7 em, line height 1.6, and font weight 600. And also the H5 is going to be 1.6, so font weight 400, and line height 1.5 em to create some space. And now the image. It's going to be position relative as well. I'm going to give it a max width of 450 pixels and a maximum height of 800 pixels. And we are going to push it towards middle by saying margin right 13 em. So let's style that button as well. I'm going to give it a position relative, color black, padding 1015. Border 2 pixels solid black with a little border radius. Transition 0.3 and a little space at the top. Let's give it a hover effect as well. I'm gonna make the text white and background black when you hover over it. Let's see if it's working. Now, those images are still huge and we're gonna make them smaller, then everything's gonna look better. Yeah, the hover effect works. Now let's put those images into their right place. Position absolute, left 50%, bottom 40, transform, 
minus 50% and display flex. So under the list items, going to be inline block, margin 0 to any, cursor pointer when you hover over them, and transition 0.4 is with a low opacity, because we're going to do the same hover effect we did with the anchor tags in the header. So the transform, going to make them go up just a little bit when you hover over them and make the opacity 1. And finally, we are going to make them a lot smaller. Now let's see how everything's looking. Now it looks like this. Th there is something going on in here. So this div is going to be a separate one. And as you can see, when I close it off, everything fits in place perfectly. And also we forgot to style the paragraph in here. It's going to say font size 1.3 em with a line height of 3. Now it looks better. And the small animation for the buttons, those are need to go up, not sides. So let's fix that too. So we're going to put a small UI in here and it's fixed. Now let's keep going with the rest of the styling. Let's select those icons. Going to make them position absolute, top 50%, right 30 pixels and transform, translate UI, 50%, minus 50%, display flex, justify content center, line item center, and flex direction column. And let's make them just a bit bigger. Gonna be inline block with a margin of 5 to 0. Set a small transition as well for the hover effect. Lower the opacity and let's make the color black. And the hover effect. Gonna make them just a bit bigger. Increase the opacity and make the color white. Now let's see if it's working. Well, it works fine, but we cannot see them when you hover over them, but that's gonna get fixed when we add the circle at the back. So let's go back to the HTML and we're gonna add the circle at the top. And this is going to be the last CSS. Position absolute, top zero, left zero, with 100%, height 100%, background, gonna give it this titanium black apparently color clip path is going to be circle to make this square circle let's see if it's in the place yeah it's in the place it looks good and finally we're gonna add the functionality so let's create a script tag at the bottom and we're also gonna create a let's say I don't know function.js JavaScript file and let's add that file inside here. So this is going to be very straightforward. We're going to create a function called image slider. We're going to put anything as an argument. We're going to select the iPhone image tag. And then we're going to create another function called change circle gonna give it a color as the argument gonna create a circle variable and we're gonna put the circle div inside so basically when we click on those iPhone images the image is going to change and also the circle at the back is going to change the color and now let's add those functions into those images so this is gonna get a bit messy so let me put those on top of each other now we're gonna give it a on click and when you click on it we're gonna call the image slider function with 
black titanium.png which is the first iPhone image and the second one we also going to give it a on click with the image slider but this is going to be a different PNG and the third one the same thing image slider with blue titanium this time dot PNG and also inside that on click we're gonna add change circle and we're gonna put this color inside this is apparently titanium black and also don't forget to put a semicolon between those now let's copy this paste it and paste it here as well and let's change those colors and this one is going to have a hashtag as well and the last color and finally let's see if everything is working fine there we go it works hover effects work as well yeah everything's in the place everything works and that is it thank you guys for watching and see you next time